What is up Nation, Noah here back again today and in this video I'm going to be running down my top 5 Boba Fett Funko Pops in my collection. Now he's got a pretty good extensive list of Funko Pops that have been released over the years but I went through my collection, picked out my top 5 and I'm going to be showing to you guys, uh, showing them to you guys I should say here today. Real excited for this video, you know Book of Boba Fett's hot right now, we're 2 episodes in uh, so you know since I'm hyped up on Boba Fett wanted to you know show you guys my top 5 so we're going to get into that right now, jump over to the other side of the desk and get into this video but before we do that make sure you like, comment, and subscribe guys and definitely turn those notifications on so you never miss a video, live stream, or podcast. Go follow me over on Instagram at Vlogs and go check out NoahNationShop.com for our Noah Nation and Toy Collector merchandise. It is temporarily down, I believe, at the time of this video, depending on when this goes out, but that's because I'm working on some new stuff. It will be back up very soon, so go check it out, and let's get in to this video. Alrighty guys, over here in the desk now, so let's get into my top five Star Wars Boba Fett Funko Pops in my collection. So obviously we're going to start number five, work our way down like we always do in these top five videos. we got a plethora of them on the channel and plenty more to come. So starting us off at number five is, uh, I was going to say the newest of this batch, but it's definitely from last year, um, but it's definitely not the newest one. But it's a newer Boba Fett Funko Pop, uh, number five on my list. It is part of the Bounty Hunter Collection GameStop exclusive, and that would be this guy right here. This Boba Fett, again, from the Bounty Hunters Collection GameStop exclusive. Now, this is a part of the Bounty Hunter Collection set, which is all seven, or I should say six, of the Bounty Hunters, and the last one is Darth Vader. Uh, but yeah, this one's super cool, man. The diorama piece that it, it is a part of that builds the whole set uh, when the set is complete. It's just super, super sick. I love the Bounty Hunter Collection idea, the concept of it. I love that they're doing more of them. You know, we have that uh, Darth Maul, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon set coming out uh, this year, so it's going to be great. But we're still not finished with this. We have more of these um, still on the way from GameStop. But this Boba Fett, super cool, man. And those OG colors um, from Empire Strikes Back, really, really nice, well-painted pop. And uh, looks awesome, man. And I love, again, the Bounty Hunter collection. It's super cool. Great concept. And I can't wait to uh, have the rest of them so we can finish the set. But at number five, the Bounty Hunter collection, GameStop exclusive, Boba Fett. They're all Boba Fett's. Obviously, it's Boba Fett. <laughs> number four on this list, though, we have the newest Boba Fett Funko Pop, uh, I believe, you know, depending on this maybe certain dates and stuff like that but at least a very very new one of the newest and that is the book of boba fett boba fett funko pop now this one again is the one of if not the newest boba fett pop that's been released as it is uh technically from the book of boba fett that's what it says in the box it's on a mandalorian one you guys can see repainted armor with the black underneath very clean uh for the most part besides a couple of you know battle things on the helmet but still you know the brand new armor newly painted from the book of boba fett there's the back of it there um which i love how like the you know i don't want to what do you want to call it the um i'll just say the cloth is still like popping out from underneath the armor um i think that's really really cool you got your jet pack there and i just i love the black underneath as well i think that looks awesome and again you know we're, we're hot on book of boba fett right now two episodes in this one is straight out of the book of boba fett so i really like this one i love the two pistols right there man uh just looks awesome so your newest boba fett funko pop i believe released uh, or at least the newest one in my collection so and number four the book of boba fett version uh, with that new painted armor just a common no exclusive on that one but still very very nice um don't want to run through these too fast but obviously they're all boba fett so i mean there's not too much to say besides the fact that uh all these pops you know are just like boba fett and that's super freaking badass but at number three we have a mandalorian boba fett now there's a couple of these um there's a common one there's the exclusives ones, you know, without the helmet. And if, if I had one of those here to show you, one of them would have probably made the cut. However, the uh, Fall Convention exclusive one has still not been delivered from Walmart.com. So, uh, you know, we none of us have that yet. But on this list, we do have this Mandalorian one. It is the common Boba Fett. Now, this is one of my favorite Funko Pop releases of 2021. I did make a top five uh, Star Wars Funko Pop releases of 2021 video. If you guys want to go check that out, it'll be right up there in the cards. But this did make that list. And again, if I had the helmetless Boba Fett to show you guys, uh, that would probably make the cut. And one of these probably would have not made the cut. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Maybe I would just would have swapped it for this. I'm not exactly sure, but that's that Fall Convention exclusive one that was exclusive to Walmart that I did grab, you know, when it went up. But, you know, it's obviously uh, being delayed and, you know, still hasn't gotten here yet. But this one's super sick, man. Uh, this is obviously, again, the, I guess you can call it the return of Boba Fett in the Mandalorian armor. Uh, just super beat up, super scratched up, and uh, all that stuff. But you guys can see, speaks for itself, all the uh, beat up armor right here. Just the, this, uh, the, the paint on the chest plate right there. 
uh, just 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 beat up, man. But, but I like it, you know. There's a lot of character in this pop, a lot of little details you guys can see, which is cool. And then you know you got this one, and then you got the repainted armor, so you guys can kind of see them side by side, you know, before and after uh, the the cleanup job, Mando, and then Book of Boba Fett. So really, really nice little comparison, um, and a really, really nice pop to uh, commemorate. I guess you could say Boba Fett's return in Mando. And again, one of my favorite Funko Pop releases of 2021. And obviously it's on this list. So one of my favorite Fun Funko Pops, Boba Fett-wise, in my collection. So at number three, uh, we'll call it the Mandalorian Boba Fett there. So we got two more here. And uh, I think these are definitely... One of these is, I think, definitely the sickest Boba Fett ever released. And the other one, uh, I think, is going to speak for itself. And there's again, like I said in the beginning of this video, there's more Boba Fett Funko Pops out there. Uh, but just this is just the one that I have in my collection. You know, the ones I've bought in over the years are, in my opinion, some of the best ones. So at number two uh, on this list, we have the Smuggler's Bounty Exclusive. I'm not sure what year this is from. I want to say 2017, maybe 2018. Um, not sure. But the Smuggler's Bounty Exclusive, Boba Fett flying on the jetpack with this uh, jetpack fire and smoke base, which is just so sick, man. My only knock on this pop is is the colors on it aren't as good i'll say as some of these newer pops there but you know it, it's a little like the armor's a little bit clean too clean for me um there's some some improvements that could have been made on this boba fett uh armor however very nice pop and the fire base you know you guys if you've been familiar with my channel you guys know how much i love when they do these special bases for star wars pops you know we're normally getting the black bases you know i wouldn't count this because this is part of like a diorama piece but the black bases are what we normally get so this flaming, uh, you know, fire and smoke one with jetpack, you guys can see it's coming out of the jetpack and then it leads into the base. I just think that's so sick. Plus he's in this like flying fighting position. Uh, my only knock again is the, is the colors could have been a little bit better, maybe a little more battle damage. Uh, Boba Fett, I don't think anybody's ever seen him this clean, um, even in Empire, but still really looks nice. It's a great Funko Pop. The fire and smoke base makes it for me. And uh, again, just makes it one of the best Boba Fett Funko Pops I think ever released. And overall, you know, my second favorite one in my collection. And if this one's number two, I mean, something big's got to be number one, right? So at number two, the Smuggler's Bounty Exclusive. Again, not sure what year that is. You can fact check me on that. I don't know, 2016, 2017, 2018. I'm not sure when this one uh, came out for sure. I, I don't have the box in front of me, so I can't even, like, look at the bottom of it or anything. But that's number two. Number one, and I mean, they just look so cool all lined up next to each other. You see, you know, clean, clean armor, very dirty armor, repainted armor, a little bit of different tones of greens and stuff. Super sick. But at number one, I'm going to have to, like, make some room to fit number one in here. You guys can probably take a guess at what it is. Now, there's been multiple versions of this release, but I like the OG one. Um, or uh, I guess you can call it the OG one, the normal one. And that is the number one favorite Boba Fett Funko Pop in the collection. Let's bring it in from the top. You guys know what it is. The 10-inch Boba Fett Pop from Empire Strikes Back. Let me move back the camera a little bit, and I'll give you guys a closer look. Ignore the dusty the dusty base. It's not actually that bad. It's It's been in the box, so it's not that bad. But it's still a little dusty. But this thing, I mean, come on. It speaks for itself, man. You got an Empire Strikes Back Boba. I mean, it's basically, I think, literally... Oh, uh, no, this one's hands are a little different, but basically that Funko Pop, a little bit of a variation, but you guys can see, I mean, Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, this of course was a part of all the Empire Strikes Back releases um, last year, since it was the 40th anniversary of that film, and this was one of my favorite, if not my overall favorite from all of those Empire Pops that got released. I mean, Luke and Yoda, uh, you know, the training one is, is great, Han and Carbonite's great, but this one is just... You know, it's super awesome. And I don't buy a lot of 10 inch pops, man. They take up a lot of room. And uh, some of them I just, I don't think are necessary. But this one, I mean, it's just so freaking awesome. And again, what I meant by, you know, there's been multiple variations of this is there's been the Boba Fett that's like all black with the red Mandalorian logo on them. And then there's, I think there's one that's all red with the black Mandalorian logo on them. I'm really not a fan of those like random ones that Funko does and then like custom paint jobs, the art. Well, I don't even know if those are artist series or whatever they were. Um, you know, there's been there's been a lot of Boba Fett pops, but I like some of the more true to film stuff, and uh, you know, not necessarily the creative ones. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just more in this league. But yeah, number one. I mean, how could I not put it at number one? You guys see, this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, love the detail on it. it. Looks really, really nice. So at number one on the top five Boba Fett Funko pops in the collection, you gotta have it right there. The 40th anniversary. Empire Strikes Back, 10-inch Boba Fett. There you go, live and in living color. Those are my top five 
five, four, three, two, and one. Boba Fett Funko Pops in my collection. That is my list. So let's hop over back to the other side of the desk and let's wrap up this video. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. My top five Boba Fett Funko Pops in my collection. Let me know yours down below in the comments. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always. Turn those notifications on so you never miss a video, live stream, or podcast here on the channel. Go follow me over on Instagram at Noah Nation Vlogs. So of course, go check out NoahNationShop.com for all your Noah Nation and toy collector merchandise. More videos, podcasts, and live streams to come. It's been a great year so far, and we're only not even 10 days in. So I'm really looking forward to all the content this year. 2022 right here on the Noah Nation YouTube channel, the place to be. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is Rogue Two. This is Rogue Two. Commander Skywalker, do you copy? This is Rogue Two.